So ladies and gentlemen, a lot of key Hollywood and uh, uh, movie and TV actors have passed away in 2021. And unfortunately, today we can announce the passing. Probably one of the most, I don't know, uh, un un underrated wouldn't be the term, but like I said, unheralded. And this guy uh, performed in so many great shows, uh, big screen hits, small screen hits. Uh, to not have him uh, be recognized by the Academy or the Golden Globes. It's kind of a tragedy, and we're going to go over this very uh, simply. He's probably one of the most important smaller actors in the history of Hollywood. Passed away on uh, April 16th, Felix Silla. Now, Felix Antonis Silla, also credited as Felix Silla, was an Italian-born American film and television actor and stuntman. He was known for many recurring roles, including Cousin It on television's The Addams Family, with the voice usually provided by Antti Magro. He also appeared in many other classic character roles. Now, uh, Star Trek played one of the Tolosians, uh, played in Ewok and uh, one of the in Jedi. He played uh, uh, a major character on Spaceballs. Uh, again, a, a myriad amount of stunt work, including Planet of the Apes series. We'll get into that in a quick second. Now, he was born in a small village of Ro Rocca Casali in Italy. He trained as a circus performer, came to the United States in 1955 when he was 28, and toured with the Ringling Brothers uh, and uh, Barnum and Bailey Circus. His multiple talents as a bareback writer, trapeze artist, and tumbler brought him to Hollywood, where he became a stuntman, starting with the gig young Shirley Jones vehicle, a ticklish affair. Now, his best known roles at the time was as Litvak, the maniacal miniature Hitler, who menaces George Segal, who recently passed away, as well in The Blackbird. Now, he called that his favorite role, and cousin it on the TV show The Addams Family. He was also responsible for the physical performance of the very popular robot uh, Twicky in the TV series Buck Rogers in the 25th century, a role for which the voice was supplied by Mel Blanc or Bob Elliott. Now, uh, measuring 3 foot 11 or 1.19 meters, he offered double for children in such movies as uh, Planet of the Apes, The Tiring Inferno, Oscar winner to Hindenburg and Battlestar Galactica, where he played Lucifer. Now, between movies and TV shows, he frequently uh, appeared in Las Vegas and uh, Reno nightclubs with his own musical combo, the original harmonica band. Now, because his most, uh, most famous role on TV was Cousin It, it is, it is noted that the character was not part of the Charles Adams original comic, but was introduced in the television series by Adams Family producer David Levy, debuting in a 1965 first season episode, Cousin It, I-T-T, -T, spelling by the way, visits the Adams Family, and appeared in a total of 17 episodes over the course of the show's uh, two seasons. He also starred in a Clint Eastwood <coughs> western. Now, he also did voice work as he provided the, the voice of Bonnevar Goth, Goth from The Sims 2, the best-selling video game of 2005. He also played one of the hang glider Ewoks in the film Return to Jedi, and he had a small role in the indie film uh, Character S. Now, uh, like I said, many, 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 many parts as an actor of uh, 48, uh, very diverse now, uh, again, Married with Children, Spaceballs, Dukes of Hazard, uh, also Meatballs Part 2, Return to Jedi, Jedi The Sting 2, Mark and Mindy, uh, the famous uh, movie Under the Rainbow, Buck Rogers, 25th Century, The Brew, don't even get into what he plays in there, and it'll scare everybody. Again, Buck Rogers, uh, Twicky the Body, Battlestar Galacta, Lord of the Rings, you played uh, the voice of one of the uh, characters, uh, the Kentucky Fried Movie, uh, he played in the segment of Catholic High School Girls in Trouble. Nobody can forget that. He was in Demon Seed as well. Mary Harpin, Mary Harpin, The Black Samurai, Mastermind. Uh, Lincoln, the TV miniseries, playing General Tom Thumb. Uh, the, the, uh, the crazy movie of the 1970s, uh, Lidsville, uh, the TV series, played Night Gallery, uh, the Baby New Year character in the infamous The Diary episode with Patty Duke Austin. He was in Bewitched, uh, 
H.R. Puffin stuff. Uh, he played various characters. And uh, again, Planet of the Apes, the original. He was in Point Blank with uh, uh, all the key actors of that movie. He played, he was in The Monkeys, The Girl from Uncle. Again, uh, Petticoat Junks in a way, Bonanza and um, uh, Grendel. Now, he played stunts in Batman Returns, Phantasm 2, Dennis the Menace, The Monster Squad, The Golden Child, Howard the Duck, Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom, Poltergeist, he played the, uh, he played the stunt work in E.T., Buck Rogers in the 25th Century, the movie version, again, The Hindenburg, Towering Inferno, Earthquake, Battle for the Planet of the Apes, uh, The Russians are Coming, The Russian Coming, and again, A Ticklish Affair. Now, I met him at a Framingham, Massachusetts Comic Con. David Price was uh, there as well. What a what a nice gentleman. Uh, actually, it was kind of weird because I said, you know, uh, you've been in so many parts. I mean, what's your favorite? And of course, he mentioned, you know, what was mentioned earlier in the podcast. And I said, well, I said, what about Star Trek? He said, I was in Star Trek. I said, uh, when was this? Well, I played one of the Talosians in the cage. Well, I said, you were cut out. He said, yeah, but the second version, if you look at it, I'm in there. Well, when you talk about the Tolosians who are using smaller people and women to play the characters, you know, the ones with the big brains, and he said, something to the fact he only got paid, I think it's like $175, which is probably a standard rate. So, I mean, he said, I should have should have took profits on it. But he basically, we talked, talked a little while, but I found uh, when children came up to him, he, it was noted that actually David Prowse had mentioned that, uh, Darth Vader. He said he's very good with children, and that's probably his legacy. I think he did most of this because he knew children could relate. He took parts that, you know, children would enjoy. And uh, E.T. and Star uh, Star Wars, uh, Star Trek, uh, you know, versions. But Batman Returns, if you look closely, I think he plays one of the Emperor Penguins. And uh, But the I know what his worst performance is, is that, that kind of alien in Meatballs 2, it has to be seen to be believed it's kind of a parody on the, the et uh, character he played stunts for so again uh rest in peace my good man and like i said uh, it's been a rough year for a lot of celebrities in hollywood uh obviously we're going to miss him but you gotta understand this he was part of kind of the, the last golden era of, of tv and hollywood productions which i mean the 1960s and uh you know uh, cousin it means a lot to a lot of people but you know there's always we have to respect the stunt people because there's always a voice behind the character and there's also the, the movements of the character and he brought forth that and being a circus stuntman he was under under a lot of stress to perform as a, as a performer but uh, but everybody that was at the event he was the third or fourth most popular table and you know he took time and everybody was kind he was gentle and like I said when you're at the top of your profession and you look uh, you look down and you see all the people supporting you I think that's what happened he really appreciated the fans and like him and David Prowse had a kind of a shorthand all, 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 uh, all the day I saw them and you know uh, uh, it's, it's so amazing the people you meet and it's about 11 years ago I met him and like, like I said uh, he stands out no pun intended he was nine feet tall to me, although he was a shorter person. He had he had a heart uh, as tall as all can be, and he will be missed. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like uh, what we're doing with our remote control and screenshot podcast, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And uh, don't forget, if you watch some of these shows, uh, please remember this great actor because he did everything for you, the fan. Have a good day. Bye.